welcome back to Notice GT. Today, for our first story, we're going to talk about BMW, who has recently released the Envision Nue Class A at the Munich Motor Show, which is a brand new ground up electric car. It is starting with a small sedan, which will be in the same category as the 3 Series, and is the first of five or six brand new all electric cars to release from BMW between 2025 and 2027. They will come with a state-of-the-art 800 volt architecture which is said to use more efficient motors and a new battery cell with up to 20% greater efficiency enabling them to fast charge 48 kilometers of range in just one minute. It will support a maximum of 1,341 horsepower from, 1, from up to four electric motors and with a capacity of 75 to 150 kilowatt hours of electricity. BMW is targeting a range of about 621 miles or 1,000 kilometers and of course none of these numbers are official and we are just speculating but what we do know is that the car will come with both rear and all-wheel drive options now as for the outside you know when most car designers are designing a car they will use something called a mood room basically they surround themselves with stuff they want the car to emulate i think electric car designers literally just go sit in a field and draw the first bug they see but as for the interior, it is quite interesting. It comes with a new generation of iDrive, which is controlled using either your voice or a touch sensitive thing on the steering panel or the steering wheel. And we'll have a brand new panoramic vision, which is a giant heads up display that runs across the entire width of the windscreen. Now that does kind of sound kind of cool. Now the man responsible for this is Frank Weaver as BMW is trying to reinvent itself as it did in the 60s and 70s and is quoted as saying that the Nue Class A, we have embarked on the biggest investment in the company's history. Fuck you, Frank. For our next story, I have some sad news. Jaguar has officially announced that it will stop all production of petrol powered vehicles, which I think is just blasphemy. I mean, the amount of people I know that will never buy another Jaguar again is just insane. And have you forgotten the history of Jaguar? Like, Jaguar was founded making sports cars right after the war. At the worst possible time. They're not meant to be... <sighs> but, to commemorate the last ever petrol-powered sports car from Jaguar, they have announced 150 special editions of the F-Type, called the ZP Edition. And it comes with the same 5-liter supercharged V8 with the 8-speed automatic and all-wheel drive as the SVRs but what makes it special is that it can come in special racing colors that the E-types used to race with yeah you can have a Bolton blue exterior along with a red and black interior or a crystal gray exterior hue with navy blue and black interior but you know it does come with all the special white round on the door and the white ground white grill surround and all the special badges and everything you know, it's one thing to just go against your customer base, but it's another thing to mock them. For our next story, the 2022 WRX has been a complete letdown, and to add to it, Subaru has just unveiled the TR, which is a set excuse for the STI, which we no longer have with us. But no big wing on this one, just a lot of disappointment. I mean, it does have unique rims, which will be switched out immediately because it's a tuner ready. It also has upgraded brakes and a larger master cylinder, presumably for your blinker fluid. I mean, these companies must genuinely get a kick out of just pissing us off because like you might as well put a CVT in there. Like, I literally hope you scream and die and no one can hear it and your children's children are thrown into space like golf balls. Now, you don't need another reason to hate cops, but in this clip, a cop has pitted the wrong car according to the title. I don't have all the details and if I assume, well, I've just made an ass of you and me. But this man has had the best line I have ever heard. We need to put that on a shirt. Like, honestly, that's brilliant. For our final story today, Aston Martin has announced some big news in relation to their motorsports ambitions. Along with entering the new Valkyrie in the 2025 Le Mans 24 Hours Endurance Race, they will also be coming to back to the F1 grid as well. And in the meantime, they're working on the new GT3 and GT4 Vantage Vantages for customers. And we have some shots taken from test days at Silverstone. The biggest visual differences are headlights, the front grille, the rear diffuser, and vented wheel arches. The head of Endurance Motorsports at Aston has confirmed that these are homologation evolutions of the current iteration introduced in 2019. 
Daily Sports Car reports that the drivers love the new car, with one driver stating, It's the easiest GT car I have ever driven. Aston is wanting to create a larger presence in the GT3 world and has confirmed its first new customer, Home Toyu Racing, who will be switching over from an Audi. The GT3 car is in the final stages of development, with the GT4 car not behind. Aston's renewed interest in the world of motorsport will hopefully lead to a resurgence in the brand worldwide. Well, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you liked. Please subscribe, comment, share, and peace.